Hi guys, it's Kales, and I'm here to wish a very happy book birthday to Len Vallejos' Life in a Fishbowl. If you guys remember, Len Vallejos was on Book Battles back in July of 2016. Len gave me a copy of Life in a Fishbowl to read and review, and his book comes out this week. It actually came out on Tuesday, January 3rd, and tomorrow at the Tattered Cover Bookstore, he is holding his book debut party. So I'm very excited to be attending that. I'm very excited to tell you guys about this book, and I'm very excited to do a giveaway so you have a chance to experience this amazing story. Life in a Fishbowl is YA realistic fiction. It centers around this man who is diagnosed with terminal brain cancer and he decides to put his life up for auction on eBay so that anybody could do with him whatever they wish. And his family is heavily affected by this. eBay catches on and eventually shuts down the ad. However, a reality TV show producer sees the ad and offers the gentleman $5 million to be able to film a reality TV show about the ending days of his life. He agrees and his family is swept up in this crazy adventure of being on a reality TV show about their dying father and swept into celebritydom and all sorts of other crazy things that happen. This book is very centered on family, discusses controversial topics like the use of euthanasia and assisted suicide, as well as the power of social media and YouTube in particular and how it can bring communities together and fight against corruption. I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars because I found it fascinating and very different than many YAs I had read. There was no love triangle. There was no romance whatsoever. I loved the family dynamic of it, the fact that it examined this relationship and this horrible tragedy and news that was brought upon this family from multiple different perspectives. The tumor, even, that is growing inside the dad's brain even has its own perspective. It gets named and goes through memories and it's very interesting how this tumor is personified. The book is told in third person but does jump from different perspectives like people who see the ad on eBay, the dad's perspective, the tumor's perspective, the young daughter's perspectives as well, as well as the TV producers and what they're trying to accomplish. So what I liked about the book was that how it was structured and how you got to see multiple sides to this issue because the book really does center around this idea of what does a family do in the face of tragedy, how do you handle someone who is terminally ill and wants to end their life and yet wants to provide for their family and how do you combat social media and other people's opinions on your choices in life which i just found really interesting this examination was a great question that i hadn't read in ya before and it was something that i found intriguing and well told and that's something about len's writing that i have recognized is I admire his structure in books a lot. He knows how to tell a good story. The rising action, the build up to the climax was well constructed and one of my favorite buildings of tension. I just was like, oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. And it was crazy how it worked and how it came together. I loved there were nerdy aspects of it using YouTube as a way to combat uh, corporate media and mainstream media as well as World of Warcraft is a way for the daughter to like secretly get out of her house as the reality TV show kind of traps them in their own little world, hence life in a fishbowl. Everybody's watching you and you're very contained in your world, which I found really clever. The reason that I docked a star was that it was a hard controversial topic to talk about. There was also one character that was really creepy that talked about murder a lot and was very psychotic and made me uncomfortable in it. Um, he, he gets He's not in the whole entire story and gets kind of kicked out of it halfway through or so and I understand his role in the story, his dramatic function was prevalent and it made sense to me but it still was creepy to me and not and there were other ways I thought it could have been done. I also just found the topic of assisted suicide and euthanasia very difficult because I had to remove my own opinions about it and really just try and focus on the story itself, which again, I appreciated that it was told from multiple perspectives and the multiple perspectives on such a controversial topic were presented, but it was hard for me to not be enforcing my own beliefs and my own thoughts on the subject, which the book made a very interesting choice at the end and it's a, it's an ending that I still don't quite know how I feel about it and how it was established and how these young ladies are supposed to move on and, and it's not necessarily happy in that sense I, I, I don't but I liked it that it, it it had a different 
feel to it, which was really what I appreciated the most, is that it was something different in YA that I hadn't experienced before. It might not be the most popular on trend type of book at the moment because a lot of people are going back to the fantasy of Chosen One and all of that. I appreciated it. I also appreciated the well-roundedness of the characters and how they all had their role to play, but it talked about more than just this one issue. It was about family issues and sisterly issues and desire and temptation, and it was very well-constructed. Like I said, very well constructed. I like this book. I'm an advocate for this book. I think it's a great different read that you should definitely pick up. And if you want to pick up a copy, I am doing a giveaway of a signed copy by Len. And so all you have to do is write a comment down in the comments below. And as long as you do that by next Tuesday, the 10th of January, that's when this closes, and I will reveal the winner next week of who gets a signed copy. You can enter anywhere in the globe. I don't care. I would love for you to be able to get a chance to read this book. Happy book birthday, Len. I'm so excited that I got to read this book. I can't wait to see what's coming next for you. And if you guys want to read it or anything sounds interesting about this book, leave it down in the comments below. I am excited to talk to you guys about it. Pick up a copy, read it, sign up for the giveaway. All you have to do is write a comment down in the comments below. Start a conversation with me and then you're automatically entered. Also, if you're in the Denver metro area, please come to the Tattered Cover at Aspen Grove for the event with Len on tomorrow, Friday at seven o'clock and you can come hear him talk. And also my friend Jessica Brody, who is also on that same episode, will be there as well. Tattered Cover, seven o'clock. Be there tomorrow and read Life in a Fishbowl by Len Vallejos. Until next time, guys. Bye. There was no love tra- <clears throat> The dad's perfect. This is the reality TV show kind of like entraps them.